Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we take a raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x minus 2, 4 raised to power 6 minus 8 raised to power 6 equals to 0 here. And here we can also rewrite this as x minus 2, or raised to power 3, then all raised to power. 2 minus here yeah, also we have 8 raised to power 3 or raised to power 2 equals to 0 here then here yeah, this follows on we have a square minus b square with the same thing as a plus b into bracket open bracket a minus b that is here yeah, a is standing as x minus 2 or raised to power 3 and b standing as 8 raised to power 3. Then what we have here becomes x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 8 raised to power 3 into brackets and open brackets x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 8 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one, we have x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 8 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 8 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. That is this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square. Then what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 2 plus 8 into brackets open bracket x minus 2 or square minus 8 times x minus 2 plus 8 square plus bracket equals to 0 here. At this, yeah, this bracket remain x plus 6, close brackets, into brackets, expansion here becomes x squared minus 4x plus 4. The minus 8x, open this bracket, we have minus 8x plus 16, then plus a squared, that's 64, close brackets, equals to 0 here. At this here, we have x plus 6 into brackets, then open bracket. Here becomes x squared minus 4x minus 8x. We have minus 12x. And here, 64 plus 16. That gives us 80. And 80 plus 4, that's plus 84. Close bracket equals to 0 here. And also we have two possible cases here. The first one, x plus 6 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 12x plus 84 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 6, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are equals to 1. B equals to minus 12. And C equals to 84. Apply the quadratic formula when we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. At this here, what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 all square. Minus 4 times 1 times 84, then over 2 times 1. That is here, we have x equals to minus times minus, that's plus. This becomes 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 square, we have 144. Then minus 4 times 1 times 84, we have 336. Then all over two years.
and this becomes x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 336 you have minus 192 over 2 here which also we can write as x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 64 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2. Then we separate this from here, root 64, and we take it out. That's it. As this we have s equals to 12 plus or minus 8. Then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. And also, this can be written as x equals to 12 over 2 plus or minus 8 root 3 i over 2. And to go in 12, that's 6. x equals to 6 plus or minus. To go in 8, that's 4. That's 4 root 3 i. Here we have two complex solutions here. Then, so from the second case here as well, this follows on we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a minus b into brackets, open bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared. And this here follows so we have and becomes x minus 2 minus 8 into bracket, open bracket x minus 2 or squared plus 8 times x minus 2 plus 8 square plus bracket equals to 0 here. At this here we have x minus 10 into brackets, open bracket. The expansion here gives us x square minus 4x plus 4. It opens this bracket here plus 8x minus 16. M plus 8 square 64 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Now this, this becomes x minus 10 into bracket. Then also open bracket. We have x square minus 4x plus 8x equals plus 4x. Now this here we have 64 minus 16. That gives us. 8, 64 minus 16, we have 8, then 4 here, 48, and 48 plus 4, that gives us plus 52, close bracket, equals to 0 here. That is, also we have two possible cases, the first one, x minus 10, equals to 0, or we have x squared, plus 4x plus 52 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to 10, which is also a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation. We are here equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 52. And applying the quadratic formula, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 52 over 2 times 1. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square, that's 16, then minus 4 times 1 times 52, you have 2 and 8 over 2 here and also here yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 2 8 we have minus 192 over 2 here then i write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. That is here, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8, and we have root 3, which minus 1 is i over 2. Then here, this becomes x equals to 
minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8 root 3i over 2. Now this here we have x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus. This becomes 4 root 3i. Here also we have two complex solutions. And therefore, all together in these problems, we have six solutions here. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with a thumbs up with your comments. See you next class and bye for now.